Hello, good morning, and a evening to those who are in Asia. So this is my last day here in Las Vegas, and I'm heading home to Arizona this morning after our prayers. Uh, so today, I want to explain to you why Mama Mary is asking us to pray the cynical. And because uh, in Igbaras, you know, we have a cynical prayer every Wednesday, 4 p.m., Okay, in Kayak Chap uh, Chapel. And also, we have another one in uh, Riruan. Okay, and uh, I'm not sure. I think they're doing their Saturday. But I will uh, let you know in our group, you know, the Prayer Warrior groups, I will let you know the exact time. So if you are in Riruan or if you are in a neighboring area, then you could join them. And in Kayap, though, it's open for everyone. My mom is from Barangay too, yet she goes to Kayap to pray at 4 o'clock every Wednesday. So if you are in Igbaras, you know, you're welcome to join them. Because it's different when you are praying it with a group, okay? And this is why it is important that we pray the cynical. This is a an invitation of Mama Mary. And you know the messages that we are reading since 1970s, you know, when she started communicating with Father Gobi to spread the Marian movement for priests, right? Uh, so that we pray for our priests, for our bishop, because they are being attacked you know, by Satan. You know, all of us are being attacked, much more our priests, because, you know, if they take down one priest, they take down thousands of people because we are looking up, you know, in our spiritual guidance, we are looking up to our priest, our bishop, and our pope. So, hello, Tita Bernie. Thank you for joining from Tucson and Sally. Thanks, Sal, for always being there and sharing our video in IDP. And Stella, hi, hello, Tita Eve. Thank you for joining from Laguna. And Tita Nenet, they are all on YouTube. So if you could join YouTube, that will be awesome, right? So, <clears throat> but you know what? I want to stretch today. <laughs> I need to stretch today. So we'll do a little stretching, okay? Of course, we start with deep breathing because our brain needs oxygen. And glucose. So we'll do deep breathing exercise, okay? So if you could stand, I am barefoot because then you have better uh, balance if you are standing barefoot, okay? So take a deep breath. Bend your knees if you can. If your knees hurt, then don't, okay? So bend a little. Take a deep breath. Okay, my knees hurt, but I'm not going to stop. I have to, you know persevere and doing the exercise okay breathe in okay hold it for four seconds keep your lungs inflated for four seconds and then let go do it slowly okay one more take a deep breath i think my my knees hurt from the walking in bear canyon yesterday okay Hold it, and then let go. Last one. Okay, squat a little bit deeper if you can. Okay, deep breath. Okay, hold it, and let go. Now we'll stretch our lateral thoracic, okay, area to the right. Could see me. <laughs> okay. And to the left. Okay. Very good. Okay. So stand straight. Okay. We're going to work on our shoulder. It's like it is better to do this when you are in the water, but it also works. Okay. When I do this, I squat and I move my shoulder, making a circle. Okay, good. We'll do 10 times of this. Okay, good. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 
10. Okay. Now you could, we're going to work still on our shoulder. So put your arms like this and you just do this. All right? Then you're, gonna, you're feeling your, your shoulders burning, right? That's the end result of doing it correctly. Especially if you're driving, you know, you are, this is the problem when your neck it becomes stiff. Okay, good. I'm getting ready to drive. So let's do this exercise. <laughs> okay. Okay, now let's work on our hands, okay? Let's open and close, open and close. We'll do five of this. Okay, now we're gonna work on our thumb. Okay, you will notice that you, since you've been doing this exercise, you could actually reach your pinky, your fifth digit. Okay, let's see this. Okay, hello Benita. Thank you for joining. And Agnes, thank you for joining from Singapore. And Manang Cecil, thank you for joining from Manila. Hello, Arcel. Okay, so can you reach your pinky now because you've been doing this? Okay, now let's do this. So we're working on our knuckles and then the interphalangeal joints. At the same time, your coordination. So we're working on our cerebellum to improve our memory. Okay. Close. Very good. Now we'll just flicker our fingers. Are you awake now? <laughs> okay, good. Do, do it, if you do it fast, right? You keep on doing it, you could do it fast. That means your brain is quicker. Very good. Okay, now let's do this. Squat a little. Okay, put your fingers together. Now we're going to do this. Okay, slowly, slow. Okay, now we're going to do it fast. Okay, slow. Another exercise for our brain. Okay, let's do this fast. Okay, one more. Okay, fast. Very good. And then we're going to do one last exercise for our brain. And we work on our pelvis, okay? Okay, fast. Okay, very good. Now, another exercise for our brain. Do this. You just slide your hands. Slide your hands, okay? Hi, Jocelyn. <clears throat> Thank you for joining from Barangay 1. Okay, you just slide. And then don't forget to breathe, okay? Breathe deep while you are doing this. Okay, good. Okay, now we're going to work on our pelvis. Okay, so you just hands on your hips, bend. Okay, bend as much as you can. Stop when you are in pain. Okay, good. Backwards. Okay. More. And to the side. Okay, good. Does it hurt your hips when you do this? You do as much as you can, okay? You stop when you are in pain. But as you keep on doing this, your joint mobility, you're going to regain that. And that's what our goal of exercising, right? As I said, you're going to join me in the journey, right? For a healthy body and healthy mind, healthy emotion, right? So let's, okay, can you... If you don't, you could not balance yourself, you hold on to something. Okay, you're going to lift your, I don't know if you could see me. I'm lifting my leg, okay, up. Can you see me? Okay, and then, okay, you, you're you going to lift it and then to the side, all right? You're opening your pelvis, lift to the side. You know, I could not do this before without holding on something, 
But now I could do it without holding on something. Okay. This is the exercise on your core. You know, balance. The problem when we get older is we lose our balance and we are falling. And when we fall, we break something and that's the end of our good life. All right? Okay, good. Okay. Okay, now let's work on our sciatic nerve. So you're going to cross your leg. You're going to bend down, okay? Touch the ground if you can. And then when you go up, you do it slowly. Okay, good. Okay, one more. Okay, reach the ground. Okay, do it slowly like your vertebrae is going up. Okay, good. Now let's do the other side. Cross your leg. We're going to work on, if you have a left sciatic pain, this is the exercise. Okay. Go down. And up. Okay, keep breathing, okay? Okay, down. And you go up. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you everyone. So we're gonna take a deep breath. Okay, and don't forget to drink like eight ounces of water after we pray. Okay, that's my goal also. Hello, Bing Bing. Thank you for joining us. And Kakai, thank you for joining us. I don't know, Barangay 3, I think. Hello, Chris. Thank you for joining from Manila. And of course, Elisa joining us from Tucson, Arizona. And Tita Cora also from Tucson, Arizona. Oh, goodness. The prayer warriors from Tucson, Arizona. Okay, good. Hello, hello, Bianca. Thank you for joining and welcome to the prayer warriors. So let me explain to you, okay, why are we praying the cynical prayer? You know, and I am very happy that Tita Nida in Kaya, because we started this actually before COVID. When I went home to the Philippines, I went to Kaya and talked to Tita Nida, Tita Semi, and they started the uh, cynical, but then COVID hits and then they stopped because people could not get together. But then they restarted again, the cynical. So why is it important that we do the cynical? Because Mama Mary is asking for it. So in the book, okay? This is the book, All the Messages of Mama Mary to Father Gobi, asking Father Gobi to start the cynical prayer to protect the, the priest, okay, to pray for the priest so that they're going to have fidelity on their vows, right? They have three vows, poverty, obedience, and chastity, which we read yesterday. So, the invitation to prayer and fraternity, okay? This is what Mama Mary was asking. This is in page 296, okay? Multiply everywhere the cynicals of prayer and fraternal sharing, okay? In her message, Our Lady insistently calls us, okay? Priests, religious, and lay people faithful to gather together with her in fervent prayer and fraternal love. In authentic cynicals as when the first apostles, remember the upper room? After the death of Jesus, the, the Mama Mary and all the apostles were hiding in the upper room because the Roman soldiers are persecuting all Christians. They were so scared to get out. So they were in the upper room. And then what happened? The Holy Spirit came and they all become courageous and brave that they were able to get out and spread the gospel, right? And now it's all over the world. Out of those 12 people, 12 people who are not educated, but it's full of Holy Spirit. So, the first, okay, why this insistence? What is the most important in the world and in the church today is the preparation for the second Pentecost through the triumph of her Immaculate Heart. To draw down upon us this gift of the Holy Spirit, we must enter with her into a cynical. Our Lady invites us to enter into the cynical of her Immaculate Heart by means of our consecration, which we're going to pray today. And all the prayer warriors, I have I've been posting the cynical prayers, and part of that is the consecration to the Immaculate Heart of our Blessed Virgin. 
She calls us to form cynicals together with her, to multiply and spread them everywhere so that the divine spirit of love may pass through the golden door of her immaculate heart and thus prepare humanity for the new era of grace and holiness. So in page 284 of the book, okay? Just as in the cynical of Jerusalem, the apostles reunited with me in prayer, prepared for the moment of the first Pentecost, so also in the cynical of my immaculate heart, and consequently in the cynicals where you are gathered in prayer, you, apostles of this last time, can with your heavenly mother obtain a new effusion of the Holy Spirit. That's why we pray when we start the cynical, come a Holy Spirit, right? So Our Lady is calling her priest. Why do I want them to come together in cynicals with me? Above all, to pray with me. When my priests pray, united with each other and with me, how efficacious is their prayer. For it is then that I myself, Accomplish in them my maternal task of interceding before God for all my children. So remember when the priests pray, like in the Mass, you know, they are the vicar, right, of Jesus Christ. You know, in the Mass, the priests are praying. You know, God the Son is praying to God the Father, right, with the help of the Holy Spirit. And God is using the priest to do that sacrifice. That's why when we go to Mass, that's what we are participating. God the Son offering His sacrifice to God the Father by the help of the Holy Spirit. So that's why it's important that we go to Mass. Okay? So to love each other and to live in a true brotherhood in company of their mother. It is necessary today that my priest know each other, that they help each other, that they truly love one another, and they be brothers brought together by their mother. Okay, page 32 of, okay, of our blue book. In asking for cynicals, Our Lady addresses herself first and foremost, foremost to all the priests, the sons of her maternal predilection. She urges them to enter into a cynical, which offers them an inviolable opportunity of experiencing in concrete way prayer offered with their brother priest in true fraternity so this is what mama mary said you cannot come to me alone okay yes of course we could pray to mama mary alone but it's more efficacious is if we do them together right if you can if you come alone i ask you and your brothers where are they you must come to my heart all together okay i give you as gifts one to the other, page 39. So Our Lady is calling everyone. Our, call, Our Lady is calling all her children to gather into a cynical of prayer. Multiply cynicals of prayer amongst your priests and with faithful. Above all, spread all about your family cynicals, which are desired by me as a remedy for great evils, which are today threatening the life of Christian families. Page 392. The whole church must now enter into a cynical of my immaculate heart. All the bishops, the priests, religious and faithful must enter in only one cynical of my immaculate heart. When the whole church will have entered in, will the great prodigy of the second Pentecost takes place. Okay, so we are still waiting for the second Pentecost. And I think it's coming because there's so many lay people. And of course, our priests, like Father Mike Smith, Father Chris Ayler, right? They are so vocal, okay, to tell the truth, even though the truth hurt, right? And of course, they are, they are vocal against the politicians who are, you know, the ones supporting abortion, right? Same-sex marriage. I mean, our, we don't judge people, but we know what is what is right and what is the truth, right? And we always support the truth. But then we also have to love those people, right? The same thing, you know, their sins is just different from ours, okay? But, you know, our job is to love them. But we should always speak the truth. And follow the truth, right? Because at the end, we are the one facing the Lord. You know, when we are judged, 
it's we are judged you know without anybody else so how to begin the cynical so it's not like you have to have so many people you only need three people three people to start a cynical and the people you know your neighbor you know that's three of you right if you need the prayer is already we also already praying this and it's in our group chat if you need me to send you specifically the prayer for the cynical so you could lead it i'll be happy to do that but think about this it's a commitment once you start it you don't want to stop you know it's a commitment to the blessed mother right so and of course, of course, the devil will always stop you, like what we are doing. You know, there's always something that's going to happen before we pray. Like I wake up at, before, I wake up three times last night because I'm so afraid that I will miss the cynical today. Because what happened last night, yesterday, I, my, I mean, I have my alarm and both of my, you know, Bless and I did not wake up in our alarm. So that could happen because the devil will always try to stop us. But remember the, the more that we are winning against the temptation of the devil, we become stronger. So then if we are always giving up, okay, yeah, you know what? I could sleep a little bit longer because, you know, I don't have to work or I, I slept at two o'clock in the morning. So I'm not going to pray this morning. There's always a lot of excuses, right? We could make excuses all the time because if we are not true to our commitment, but remember our Lord and Mama Mary does not make excuses when they are giving us the blessings, when they are showering us the blessings, when we are protect, being protected, you know, from all these evil things that are going on in this world, right? They're not making excuses. So why are we are making excuses? Okay, so hello, then. Hey, thank you for joining from Toronto and and Harriet, my Suon, Ariet. Thank you for joining from Manila. And Tita Nalin, thank you for joining from Manila. And hi, Seth. We are praying for your son. So, so Seth, Agnes Suset so Espinosa is the mother of Clifford, you know, one of the seminarians that we are also praying. So I'm telling you this so that you know who are the people who are praying with you and who are the people that we are praying for, right? Um, so how to begin the cynical okay there is no need of organization everything should be simple spontaneous quiet and fraternal okay so anyone could start a cynical another desirable practice is the praising of jesus in the blessed sacrament after each decade father gobi always sings the refrain o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and thanksgiving be every moment thine the invocation to the holy spirit come o holy spirit by means of the powerful intercession of the immaculate heart of mary your well beloved spouse of course that is recited before we start the rosary i'm i hope that you notice that so and also prayers for the holy father and we are praying that too right unity with the pope and the church and of course we protect the magisterium we are the barrier right of the attacks against the magisterium so what is the magisterium okay you've been with me you should know what is a magisterium, right? The magisterium is the red deposit. All our faith teaching is being um, kept in the magisterium, okay? The teachings of the Catholic Church that came from the apostles, from Jesus, are being kept there intact. That's why we have scholars that are protecting our magisterium. There's apologists who are protecting our faith, right? Because they study, they learn, you know, the truth. And you know what? It's also our responsibility to learn the truth, right? All of us, faithful and baptized, have a responsibility to increase our knowledge about our faith. And that's what we are doing. Right? We are doing it every day while we are praying. So, you must support him with prayer. They're asking, the, Mama Mary is talking about the Pope. With your love and your fidelity, you must follow him, carrying out the perfection, whatever determines for the good of the church. Right? Because the Pope, imagine when they pick the Pope, right? They, each of them cast their vote. You know that, how difficult it is? It's a divine intervention that the Pope is 
um, being chosen. If you understand, I'm going to talk about it next time. Okay. How Pope, how the Pope is being chosen because it is with divine intervention that they choose the right Pope. Okay. Um, so our lady's book. Okay. So what, what, what is our lady book? Well, our lady's book, this book. Okay. This is the Marian book. All the messages of Mama Mary is in that book and that we are reading it every day. So read it, okay? Within the cynical, there is always a reading of a message from the book, okay? To the priest, Our Lady's beloved sons. By meditating it, we accustom ourselves to Our Lady's way of seeing, feeling, loving, praying, and working. The selection of message to be read may be done in any manner, okay? In, in any sequence, okay? You don't have to follow it the same sequence. You could just pick and choose. You know, our cynical in um, in Tucson, which was more than 25 years ago, you know, they started. It came from California. Then one of the retired counselor there brought it to Tucson. And now, you know, I, I extended this to Igbaras, okay? Because we're supposed to spread this everywhere. So, and we are reading this, we are praying the same thing. Okay, and this is all over the world. The selection, of, okay, when more than one rosary is recited, for example, in a day long or a weekend cynical, the message may be read and meditated upon each set of the mysteries. Okay, so, well, there are people who all they do, like my friends, the Marian movement of priests in Tucson, they start at 8 o'clock. You know, they do the mass and they pray until like 11, 12 o'clock. And then they go, you know, all of them, they go to the lunch and they talk. That's the way of their socialization. At the same time, you know, they are praying. Now they are praying together. So it's good. If you are retired, this is something that you could do. And don't feel sorry that you could not do anything for the Lord. As long as we are breathing, we could always do something for the Lord. And this is part of it. Form a cynical. Form a group of friends who you are praying together and preparing yourselves to face the Lord. You know, um, honestly... <laughs> We should prepare ourselves every day, but much more if you are older, because you know where you're going, right? All of us know where we're going. Why can't we prepare ourselves to, you know, to face our maker? So that's one way of, of you not being alone in your house. Go out there, you know, with your friends, start a cynical prayer. Okay, and if you need the things to start the cynical, like the prayer, the blue book, let me know. I will buy them and I will provide them. The same as the red book where we are praying, you know, the divine mercy, the holy hour of reparation to pray for the whole world, right? We are praying for the whole world. If you need that also, I'm very happy to provide that for you because I, I buy them in hundreds, okay, to give away. So, Meditate on it. Meditation to Our Lady's message is necessary for they trace out a simple and luminous way which we are to travel in order to grow in her love and in life and her and through her consecration to her Immaculate Heart. Meditation consists of silence reflection on Our Lady's words or if a priest is present, he may provide the cynical members with a brief commentary on the message. Okay, you know, the good thing about our Marian is there was a Marian um, member before, before he became a priest, you know, he was in a seminary when he joined our, the Marian movement in Tucson. And now, once in a while, if he is free from his parish, he come and join and, and do a commentary on it. In yeah. fact, he's, he is the one leading it. So you'll never know if you, if you invite young men, right? Yeah, your grandson, your son to join the cynical prayer. You'll never know that Mama Mary will be the one to, to put the seed in his heart, right? To become a priest. Okay. All right. So anyway, so live it. The most important thing is meditate, live it. Only if we live the messages by putting them into practice in our daily lives can we walk securely in our life of consecration in the to the Blessed Mother. Okay? So you know the the family cenacles. Our lady, because we could also start it in our own family. Okay? 
you pray the cynical prayer with all, your own family. Our Lady, the mother and queen of families, in her message given July 23, 1987, asked that all Christian families consecrate themselves to her immaculate heart and, if possible, start a cynical in their homes. Okay, I ask that they open the doors of all their homes to me so that I may come, come in and take up motherly dwelling among you. Message 358. Above all, spread all about you family cynicals, which are desired by me as a remedy for the great evils, which are today threatening the life of Christian families. Page 392. Okay? The family cynicals have the same basic structure proper to the MMP. Oh, this MMP, because you always see me writing it, it's the... Marian movement of priests. Cynical. However, for the benefit of family members, especially the children, a portion of time may be devoted to catechism and family sharing. More than one family may gather together to pray it in the home. Okay? So this is the promises of our Blessed Mother if we pray the cynical. Okay? So, number one, she will help them live the sanctity of matrimony, principally to remain united and to be faithful, to live the sacramental character of the family union. You know how family are bro are being broken now, right? Because that's what Satan do, right? They want to break the very foundation of the community or the church, the family. That's why we pray for our family to protect our family. No family is perfect, but if we pray for our family, the chance that our family will be united all the time and that people are be caring and serving each other is much higher, you know, chance, right? Than just living it, you know, for Satan to be attacked, right? We So, Promise of Mama Mary number two, the desires to help the children of these families. Among many young people, there is a danger of losing the faith, following the path of evil, of vice, of drugs. Our Blessed Mother promises that as a mother, she will be at their side to help them grow in goodness and to save them. Okay, number three. She will always be near and all their spiritual as well as material needs. Material needs. We always ask for material needs. But I think, you know, there you go. Mama Mary is promising that. During, number four, during the period of difficulties. Do you have difficulties in your family life? Okay, we do. You know, we do have a lot of difficulties. Okay, she will protect these families, sheltering them under her mantle. For this reason, she invites families to multiply throughout the world the cynicals of prayer. Mama Mary said, this is what my Mary said. If you all walk along the road which I have traced out for you, if you listen to and put into practice what I have said to you today, your families will be the first buds of my triumph. Small, hidden, quiet buds, which are already sprouting in every part of the earth, as though to anticipate the new era and the new times which are even now yored at your doors. This is Pesis 358. And of course, the last part is children and youth cynical. So I'm not going to read this because it starts with the adult. How could a youth emulate some, something that is not there, right? The only way that our youth would learn about the cynical is we ourselves starts and pray it. So my challenge to all of you guys, prayer warriors, right, to be committed, you know, if you are starting a cynical, that you need to be committed. No matter what happened, if you say you're going to pray on Tuesday, pray on Tuesday, no matter what happened, because the devil will always do something to pre prevent you from praying. So every time you overcome that temptation to not pray, you become stronger. So remember the promises of Mama Mary that if we pray the cynical, then she will protect us, our family, right? If you want your family to be protected, then this is the prayer. This is the prayer. You know, my, my kid, okay, my 30-year-old daughter is in California, but I still pray for her. 
you know, because that's my way. I could not be there for her every day, but I know that someone greater than me loves my daughter more than me, right? So then there's Mama Mary who loves all of us. So pray, we pray for the blessed mother, right? Hello, Bing Bing. Hello, Tita Flory. Thank you for being here. And Tita Esper. Hello, Arwina. Thank you for joining from Manila. So, of course, you know, we quiet ourselves. Wow, that was a long message. I'm not going to... I the, the message today is uh, actually... This is a good message, too. It is the... Yesterday, we, we talked about, you know, the pray, the priests. They're asking, about, no, not only the priests, but all of us to be obedient, chaste, and poor. So today, December 8, 1982, Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception. This is the message of Mama Perry, my plan. Okay? I am your Immaculate Mother. Allow yourselves to be led by me, beloved sons, for the perfect fulfillment of my motherly plan. It is a plan of enmity. Okay, I will put enmity, okay, between you and the woman, between your offspring and hers, okay? Genesis 3 verses 15. Genesis 3, uh, Genesis 3 verse 15. Thus did the Lord speak of me, addressing himself to the serpent, when by means of him sin entered it in at the beginning of the history of the human race. Enmity between me and Satan, between the woman and the serpent, between my cohort and his, between good and evil, between grace and sin. To walk along my way, there can be no descending to compromise with evil, because this road winds its way only over the terrain of enmity between these two opposed realities, you know, between evil and good. My son Jesus becomes the sign of this contradiction and has been given to you by the Father for the salvation and the ruin of many. You are now living in obscure times because in all kinds of ways, an attempt is made to reach a compromise between God and Satan, between good and evil, between the spirit of Jesus and the spirit of the world. Many are running the danger of becoming victims of this general confusion. And even in my church, false spirit, which is not that of Jesus, the Son of God, is seeking to spread itself about. Like a cloud of invisible poison gas, a spirit which jumbles the things of God with those of the world is expanding and succeeding in depriving the word of God of its vigor and is despoiling the announcement of gospel of its force. Okay? It is a plan of struggle. Assisted by me, following along the road which Jesus has traced out for you, you must fight against the evil one, against sin, against terror and infidelity. If my divine privilege, I have been exempt from all sin, even original sin, it is because I have been appointed by the most holy trinity as leader of this terrible battle, which involves heaven and earth, heavenly and earthly spirits. It is a great continuous battle over invisible, and at this time it has become general. In the apocalypse, I have been announced as the woman clothed with the sun, who will conduct the battle against the red dragon and all his followers. If you want to second my plan, you must do battle. My little ones, children of the mother who is leader, fight against sin and against compromise with the weapon of prayer and of suffering, in hiddenness, in confidence, in the humble fulfillment of our daily duties, in the perfect imitation of Jesus and in poverty and contempt for the world and for your own selves. Join me in waging this battle each day. It is a plan of victory. After the present triumph of evil, which has succeeded in subduing the world, in the end, the victory will be solely that of my son Jesus. Okay? We already know winning, right? The war. <laughs> 
Okay, because the creature could never win over the creator. And Satan is only a creature. So there you go. You know who's winning the war. He alone is the victor. The outcome of the great struggle through which we are living will be his glorious reign of peace and goodness, of justice and holiness, which will be established in the world and will shine forth resplendently in the hearts of all. Thus will be brought to completion the plan of enmity, of struggle, of the victory in triumph of my immaculate heart. Okay, so there you go. We know who's our leader. We know what to do. So then all we need is to follow. Okay, so let's quiet ourselves and we do what we do best, right? Pray and meditate on the mysteries so that our lives will be conformed to what Mama Mary right, wants us to be, right? And we, our lives, you know, that our, we pray, that whoever sees us, right, will see Jesus in us, Mama Mary in us. So this we pray because that is a hard thing to do, you know. So let's quiet ourselves and put ourselves in the midst of the angels and saints. As they are praying with us today. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. We praise and we thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all the blessings that you have showered us, for protecting us, for guiding us, especially our children, the weakest members of our family. We pray that you remove the blinders in our hearts and in our mind, that we see truly ourselves, you know, our sins, that we are truly remorseful for them because that is the very reason why Jesus, your son, suffered so much in Calvary. Like to redeem us from our sinfulness so we have a chance to be with him in heaven. We pray that you give us good leaders who will protect life from conception to death, that our leaders will do everything to maintain peace in their world, to protect the natural resources so that we continue to live pleasing to you. We pray for all those who are celebrating their birthday this month. Please give them good health, both in mind and spirit, especially my mother, Mayor Juvik Scorpion, Rosemary Illumirag, Tito Digol, Jerome Ditson, Tita Cora Isabalaya, Luchi Santander, Mary Jean Esteba, Bingbing Esgra, Yorol Fan, Inday Madel and Efren Estose, Nang Dimpol Sudinap, and for all IDPNs who are celebrating their birthdays. And for those who um taken by God ahead of us, may they repose, may they have May they be welcome in the loving embrace of our Father, especially Boy Celia, Ben Rapatan, Candida Cardones, Jovi Espeleta, Doug Wiggins, Jasmine Poncho, Angelina Escarmoso Eliasar, Emma Kainoy, Rudy Elduayan, Jason Caldoza. And for special intention of Father Miguel, Father Albert, Father Gutero, and Father Subuon, Father Butch, Father Timeliesa, Terry and Chris Kimeno, Sir Danny Inano, Mom Irene, and for healing, Father Preman, Father Joper, Father Roming Sobaldo, Tutu J, Father Pauls Eliasar, Sally, Celestiano, and family, Margarita and Rick Cross, and for all IDPNs, so we will focus on our mission of creating a culture of service to others that will not only rejoice on our successes, but help those and alleviate the sufferings of others. For healing of Joel Inano, Sige Erdao, Nona Lilatigo, Tapoypoy Istose, Luchi Santander, Augustus Iblacas, Greg Emmanuel Oswald, Oswald, Patsy Arandia, Mary Grace Idhan, Doc Sony, Jonas Espeleta, Salvacion Solinap, and Ang Timpol, and Ang Suwani Dofilis. And for the intention of the real women, Our Lady's Marian Movement of Free, St. John Paul, St. Monica, and for all our worries, our fears, and the desires of our hearts, let's offer them all to Mama Mary, 
for her intercession. Let's pray for our priest. May God send us holy and courageous priests. O Jesus, our great high priest, hear our humble prayers on behalf of thy priest. Give them a deep faith, a bright and firm hope, and a burning love which will ever increase in the course of their priestly life. In their loneliness, comfort them. In their sorrow, strengthen them. In their frustrations, point out to them that it is through suffering that the soul is purified and show them that they are needed by the church. They are needed by souls. They are needed for the work of redemption. O loving Mother Mary, Mother of Priests, take to your heart your sons who are close to you because of their priestly ordination and because of the power which they have received to carry on the work of Christ in a world which needs them so much. Be their comfort, be their joy, be their strength. And especially help them to live and to defend ideals of the consecrated celibacy. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, his only Son of our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into death into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From then he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For the intention of the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For the increase in the virtue of faith, hope, and charity, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Glorious Mysteries The First Mystery, The Resurrection He is not here, He is risen. Luke 24, chapter, verse 6 Share with me in the joy of all the universe, beloved children. Jesus is risen. All has passed. Jesus is risen. Jesus is alive in our midst. Today, open the doors of your heart only to the joy with me who am the mother of your joy. Christ, risen and living in our midst, arranges all events for the accomplishment of his div divine plan and predisposes everything so that his reign of glory may quickly come upon you. Joy in Jesus, risen and alive in our midst. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us as our sins, sins save, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, heaven, especially those who need most of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery, the Ascension. And so the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up to heaven. There at the right hand of God, he took his place. Do not let your heart be troubled. Have confidence in Jesus, risen and ascended to the right hand of the Father, where he has already prepared a place for each one of you. Hope to obtain the place prepared for us in heaven. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my, o my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our sins, save, save us from the fires of hell. hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially <laughs> those who need most of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. With one heart, the disciples continued steadfast in prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. Today, I invite you all to enter into the cynical of my Immaculate Heart in the expectation of receiving in fullness the spirit of love which is given to you as a gift by the Father and the Son. Fruit of the Mystery Gift of the Spirit of Love from the Father and the Son our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who need most of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Mary. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in cloth of gold. Beloved children, look with joy at the splendor of my glorified body, assumed, assumed into the glory of paradise. The Most Holy and Divine Trinity are glorified today by your Heavenly Mother. On this day, I reflect upon you the rays of my splendor, and I ask you to walk in the light of my motherly presence close to you all. Fruit of the Mystery Charism of Mary's Motherly Presence Among Us Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, they will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O, o my, my Jesus, Jesus forgive us our sins, sins save, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls, souls to heaven, heaven especially those who need most of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of Mary. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, on and on her head a crown of twelve stars. I am the woman clothed with the sun. I am your heavenly leader. I am the queen of all the saints. Look to me as a sign of sure hope and of consolation. In these times of the purification, of the apostasy, and of the great tribulation, the times of the struggle and the, great, and the greatest conquest on the part of the dragon, of the beast which comes from the earth, and the end of the beast which comes from the sea have come. Fruit of the mystery, trust in our Queen Mother in these times of the great tribulation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 